they're nocturnals. So something's come up today. Um, I realised as I'm working with a young filmmaker that um, some basic sort of skills are missing um, just when it comes to working out production schedules. So I thought to help him and also to help all of you budding filmmakers out there, I'd do a quick video on how to create a production schedule using Google Docs that you can easily share with your cast and crew to get things organized and to keep things moving along. So let's get started. So firstly, in your browser, go to docs.google.com and you should come to a page like this. Now what we need to do is we need to start a new spreadsheet. So in here in the drop down menu in the main menu in Google Docs, there's a section here with the green icon that says Sheets. So let's go ahead and start a new sheet. This will bring you up with this menu. So let's start a blank spreadsheet. And here we have it. So the first thing we need to do is we need to change the title. So let's change the title to, in this case, the production I'm working on, which is Mr. Kennedy. Oops, sorry. Now we need some basic information for a production schedule. But the first thing we need to do is we need to set up our sheets. So we'll start with this. By default, it's set up as sheet one. We want to change this and rename it to day one. So let's rename it now. To day one. Perfect. Now, if you want to add extra days, just click on this plus icon that says add sheet like this. And it creates a second sheet for us that we can change into day two. Let's just rename this to day two. All right, so now let's figure out the, the basic information we need to know for each of these shoot days. The first thing we need to know is the date. So let's put the date in here, the first unit. The next thing we need to know is the time. In column C, let's add the scene. Column D, we're going to make characters. Column E will be location. Column F, we'll make description. Let's make column G props, column H we'll make costume, column I will make notes, column J will make the address, and the final column, column K, let's make that equipment. So already we have a template made up. We can now select these column headers. And if we go into day one, we can paste them in. And there we have our template for the next day. Once we've set this up, if you go back into day two, you can actually just as a shortcut, just duplicate. And let's create a copy of day two, but if we rename that to day three, that's a quick way of setting up a new sheet for our next day. So let's go back to day one. So there's a few things that you might need to change when you're adding your information into these different different boxes. So. I'm going to use this production I'm working on as an example. So if we go into the actual Mr. Kennedy production schedule, you can see how I've set it up using that system. So let's go to the production schedule I've been given. 
is the film days left and find a day to work on. So let's work on day 21, which only has one scene in it. That makes it really easy for me to show you. So now you can see I've got all of my different days set up. So I can easily go to day 21 in the tabs at the bottom. And here you can see the template that we've set up. At this stage, I don't know what the date is for the shooting. But I do know that basically we're starting at around 10.30. That gives us time for our actors to be made up and for everybody to arrive and, and to prepare. So let's say that the first scene that we're shooting will start at 10.30 a.m. And if we go back to our production schedule here, our basic schedule, we can see that we're working on scene 83, so let's add that information into this box here. Now, when it comes to the characters and the location and all this other information, you may need a little bit more space, but let's start with the characters. So if we go into the actual script, And we go down to scene 83. We can see it's the interior of Mr. Hertz's office. It's a daytime. So we can go ahead and we can copy this information. Jump back into Google Docs. And we're going to paste that into the location and information. So there we go. But as you can see, it's kind of crossing over into our description. So, but what we can do is we can hold our cursor over here and we can click and drag to extend out that box. I'm going to extend it out a little bit more because I want to put some specific information in here as well because this is the way I like to do it. I want to go. Mr. Hurst's office, interior, day. There we go. So, we might need a little bit more space here for the description. So again, click and drag here to extend out this different box. So we can add a little bit more information to the description. So if we quickly look into the description of the scene, I can see it's a conversation between Leo and Mr. Hertz. So I'm going to put that in here in the description. Leo and Mr. Hertz conversation. And I also know from this the characters that I need in the scene. So let's add the characters. Leo. Hers. Costume. I'm going to say Leo. Costume 2. And as you can see, it's crossing over into our notes. So again, I'm going to extend out this a little bit and add Mr. Hers. Costume. Extend this frame out again. So I'm not sure about the location of the address, so for now I'm just going to put this in here. But I do know the equipment that I'll probably need for each of these days. Now rather than just filling it out, because I've already filled it out in day one, I can go into the day one tag and I can select the equipment very quickly like this. Control C to copy. So we go back into day 21 and control V to paste. And that's given us the equipment that we need for that day. So the only other thing I need to know is I'm, I'm, I need to know what props are needed in the scene. So if I go back to the script, I can see here that there aren't any special props in the scene. So I don't have to add anything here. But props might be the school timetable, it might be a pen that Mr. Hurst is writing with. All of that information should be in props. 
so there you have it so there's a really really easy way in which you can create a really really simple template in Google Docs that you can share to all of your cast and crew so that they know what's going on and so that you know what's going on and you can be incredibly organized when it comes to making your productions well I hope you enjoyed that hopefully we can have some more filmmaking tips and tricks here on my channel so if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel check out the description below at the moment my new book sexy dragons and naked angels is for sale up on Amazon I highly recommend you go check it out it's for me 25 years of my work my artwork and my poetry uh, songs sort of all combined into one 200 page book um, and it's a lovely product I'm really proud of this product so that's all for me today. I hope you've had a great day. If you're in Auckland, please stay dry. And anywhere else in the world, please stay safe. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.